Uh, hello, uh, I am Nemo, uh, and uh, if I, my question is, if you are the violin, what will be the most beautiful moment you will ever have experienced? If I... If you was the violin? If I, were, if I yeah. was the violin, what was... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's hard to... If I, 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 and who says there aren't young people here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ten. Uh, if I were the violin, well, you know, um, I the violin becomes is almost uh, it it is kind of like a living thing. I mean, it really the connection one feels with the violin is almost like it is. So you do feel like this violin is responding um, to the way you play. It responds. When you play in tune, it starts to, to open up the sound, which, um, because the overtones ring in a different way, and the violin starts to open up. So it makes you think that whoever played the violin beforehand affects the way this violin sounds now. Um, so uh, if I were this violin, I mean, uh, this violin was, uh, I think I'd be very pleased that, uh, that Hubermann played on me um, at one time. I think that's quite a privilege. Um, uh, and uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I think to be played, I, I think is what the violin was born to do, and um, that's its cause and its meaning. And I think if it's being played in beautiful music, um, you know, the Bach, uh, Bach concerto of Chaconne means nothing without the instrument. So, so it's part of the equation of something really truly great, which, which is a sort of a. Uh, a combination of Bach and the instrument and the player all have to be together and all have to work. I have, I have the luckiest job in the world that I open up this case every day to I go to work and I have a relic, a 1713 Stradivari, which we could have a whole symposium just on violin making and, and the glories of a Stradivarius. Um, I, get to, I get to be inspired by this this amazing thing every day. So, so, um, and I and I only wish I knew all of the stories that this violin does know because I know a few. I know about Hubermann and a couple of the owners before, but there's about 150 years where I really have no idea who is playing on this violin, and and I'm sure there's some great stories, but I just don't know what they are. Thank you. That was a very good question. Thank you. Uh, behind you, yes. Well, I'm Messia, and I just want to ask you what's going through your mind when you're playing your favorite song on the violin. Yeah, that's um, what's going through through my mind. It's it's that is a it's a good question, and and I don't always even know what, how to answer that because um, as an artist, you're playing, let's say Bach. You really you you're getting inside the mind of of um, of the composer and of the, you're kind of like an actor, in a way, it's a little simplified, but like an actor taking on a role. You, you just have to, a good actor really becomes the role. If you ask Meryl Streep what she's thinking about when she plays, plays the character, of some character, she probably would say she loses herself inside that character and doesn't think about it, she just is that. And the same thing is, the same thing with music, you just have to become Become that music and what the, the, and and uh, tell the story that the composer. Uh, so when when the magic happens on stage, when I feel the best concerts, when I, when I feel I played the best, is often related to the degree that I'm completely immerse myself. Um, the brain is a, is an amazing thing because it can do multitask. So you can play one thing and you can be aware of the pretty girl in the front row and uh, and somebody coughing in the back row, um, but. But but if when you're really involved, you bl you block all of that. And and there have been concerts where I play and I feel I'm completely inside of the music. And people come back and say, "Did you hear that 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 uh, they came away and took somebody from the second row who fainted? They took them away in a stretcher." And then the the people the coughing and it's like I I didn't even hear a thing, you know, because I'm I I I'm immersed in the music.